Good morning, my name is Tom Armentrout and I'm the owner of Boat Leather. I want to thank you for being a Boat Leather customer. This morning we're going to show you a short instructional video on how to install a leather wrap on your wheel. It's going to include removing the wheel if necessary and taking it home, uh, starting the stitch, ending the stitch, a few helpful hints on installing it in a timely fashion, and finally caring for your wheel cover when you're done. So let's get started. Time you want it. First, let me show you how to remove the wheel from your boat. What we say is to put yourself in a comfortable environment. That could be on your boat, like it is today in Seattle, beautiful sunny day, but you have a four to five hour project. So most folks like to take the wheel off their boat. To do that, you'll need a couple tools. You either need a pipe wrench or a crescent wrench to remove the nut on the back of the wheel. Simply use the wrench to loosen the nut, remove the nut, and then the wheel is keyed on the shaft. So simply by pulling it towards yourself and rocking the wheel, you can remove it. Let's get started with the installation. Kits come complete. In other words, they come with the uh, positioning tape, the needles and thread. It comes with the leather pre-punch and of course the foam backing. Two tools you'll need that aren't in the kit is the scissors and we do recommend a glove because you'll see as I lace the product on, uh, it helps the fingers. Let's get started with our wheel installation. We're gonna... You take the foam out of the packing. The foam comes with a release liner on the back and it's coated with an adhesive so it self sticks. The width of the foam is cut to the proper width so you don't have to do any trimming. Remove the release liner. You simply start by positioning the foam on center line. You can either turn the wheel or that's what I find easiest. So I have to use the other piece of foam and trim it to length. So remove some of the release liner. Position it on the wheel. And what I do is just make a little scissor cut when it lines up with the other piece of foam. and cut straight across. And then lay the foam down. What you need to do now is roll the foam into position. So you use your thumb and your forefinger and you just start wrapping the foam down around the wheel. wheel. If the foam rides up on the spoke, you want to use your scissors and do a little V cut. There. and simply remove that piece of foam. You notice that uh, it's a fairly high density foam so if you leave the foam set for a period of time it will pop back off the, the wheel. You just simply have to uh, roll it back down with your with your hand and seat it in place. The foam is really held on with the adhesive as a you simply tape in this case, because there's foam, put it on the outside of the foam. If there's no foam, you'd just be putting it on the raw wheel. And rotate your wheel. This is some um, adhesive tape. Until you come all the way around. Here's where I started. You just lay it down. Next, what you want to do is take the leather, which is supplied in the kit out of the bag. If you get it direct from the shop, we'll cut it right to size so you don't have to do any seaming. And position the leather onto the wheel. I know my center line is, is right here. So I'm going to take the seam and I'm going to place it on center line. And simply stretch the leather wrap over the wheel. And spend a few minutes just to align it on center line. We're now ready to begin the stitching process. I always wear my boat leather gloves. It's a goatskin leather glove because as you stitch, you pull the thread tight and it wears on the fingers. Yeah. To start the stitch, use about two arm lengths of thread. That'll stitch about a foot along the wheel. Using your scissors, cut the thread. You want to run the thread through the eye of the needle. 
tie a figure eight knot in the end of the thread. And then trim the end. And you're set to go. Start your stitch. To begin stitching, what you want, what I recommend you do is start in this section of the spoke. To start out, if you're right-handed, you work from the right to the left, always working with the same two set of holes across from each other. You advance the needle under the left. You want to bring it over the top of the right and go back through the same hole. You do this twice. All you're doing is seating the thread. Now you begin the herringbone stitch. It's a lock stitch. You go under the left, over the right, and pick up that loop. So it's under, over, through the loop. With a glove on your hand, you pull the thread tight by pulling it back and forth, back and forth. It pulls it in and locks the leather down. Once again, it's under. Retain a small loop over and pick up that loop. Under, over, through the loop. Making sure that your needle comes up between the last stitch and the new crossover stitch. Pull tight by pulling back and forth, back and forth. Under, over, through the loop. Pull tight by pulling back and forth, back and forth. I need to advance the thread. So once again, go under the left, over the right, and through the loop. Pull tight. The leather that we use is thick. What you want to make sure is that you run the needle perpendicular to the leather. So I'm feeling for the hole and then I use a glove in the hand to push the needle through. So you always run the needle down and then cock it and push it. If you go in at a sharp angle, you're not going to get it through the hole. So you push it down, cock it, and push it through the loop. Pull tight. So I'll do one more stitch and I'll show you how to tie it off. All you do is seat the thread. So what you want to do is go back through the same two set of holes And then what you need to do is you want to pick up that thread underneath and tie an overhand knot. And to do that, you just run the thread back through that loop that you created. And all you're doing is pulling the knot down underneath and pull tight. You're ready now to trim the thread. And I'll just tuck the tail of the thread down underneath so it looks nice. Congratulations, you got your wheel cover done. <laughs>